Hello ladies and gentlemen, in the last video we did the section 6a of the guide which is here. We did the Dindu lot for the tree overhaul option 1. Tree overhaul option 1 it's here, it was done before, then in the last video we did the Dindu lot for it and it was entirely optional to do so. Now we will do another optional section that is independent. We will install another tree overhaul and we will do so aside of the existing one. So we will so you don't need to do the previous uh, video. You can only do this video. It, it says here do only this part of section 6 to have two tree overhauls. If you don't want any dindu lot so you can totally disregard that and do only this and then you will have a second tree overhaul and you can switch between them but without any dindu lots later in the next video if you want dindu lot for this tree overhaul you will also want to do section 6 c all right so let's open up the tree overhaul option 2 open up the spoiler now we will install tree overhaul option 2 with trees and plants 3d by mati 79 it's a very revolutionary tree mod that gives a total new aesthetics and another level of uh, trees in the game it's beautiful and so let's just do it First of all we have the preparations and in the preparations it says to activate the profile uh, no Dindulot or create it if you are not using Dindulot and starting from here. So let's start Mod Organizer 2 and look if you didn't do the previous video then you will have your regular profile like that. Go. Um, in my case, I already have the no Dindulot profile because, but it's actually the same thing, but just with a changed name. Anyways, um, having this profile or or this here, it's time to uh, uh, go to the profiles. So click here, uh, click on your current profile. For me, it is this one because I did the previous video, obviously. So I choose the no Dindulot version of 3 overhaul 1 and I click on copy and name it 3 overhaul 2 no Dindulot like this and I click OK. Now activate the new profile. We will now work with it. So let's change to 3 overhaul 2, no Dindulot. So now let's click here and open Matis Skyrim 3D trees page. Go to the files section and get the main files Skyrim 3D plants, Skyrim 3D trees. The latest version and also the miscellaneous files Skyrim 3D trees billboards and Skyrim 3D trees UV fixed woodlocks. After you acquire the files, they will be in your downloads. I already queried the info for those two woodlocks and billboards, and now I will I have this uh, warning triangles here. So I need to right click query info and associate this with mod uh, 12371. And here is a problem of mod organizer that if you have more than 30 files on a mod page then you will need to um, just choose another version here if you don't see your version unfortunately okay and now the same goes for plants and choose the right mod id and again i'm looking for a plants file 
just to associate those files. After I have the files, we can move on to installation and let's follow the instructions. First, deactivate the three mods from tree overhaul option one. So starting from realistic aspen trees, I am deactivating now and the Skyrim Flora overhaul, okay? Now, install the 3D trees files with mod organizer 2 and drag them just after the mods from tree overhaul option 1 in this order. Okay, so install Skyrim 3D trees. Let's see, I double clicked the main file, the main mod, and I want to manually check and set the data directory. Looks good, so I can continue. Now I will install the plants. And I will name it Skyrim 3D Plants. Just like this. Also click on manual and expand this file tree. Click on data, right click set as data. Okay. Probably won't need to do that, but I like to double check. Next we have billboards. Double click, name it billboards. Skyrim 3D3 is billboards. Click on manual, expand the directories. Find the data, right click, set this data directory, click OK. Billboard's done. And we will also do the UV fixed wood logs. So it's here. Double click. Name it UV fixed wood logs. Skyrim 3D trees. UV fixed wood logs. Manual, expand, find data, right click, set this data directory and click OK. So now they are installed. Let's see in which order they should be. Trees, then three billboards. Plants and UV fixed woodlocks. Now they are in the correct order here at the very end. So I activate them all. Select them all by holding shift and pressing down. And now I will drag them below the Skyrim Flora overhaul. Skyrim Flora overhaul is here. And that's how I want them to be installed. Okay, now I see that the versions are wrong here because I needed to choose wrong versions for it actually to work. So I will change manually the version of uh, the plants to 295p. 2.95p. Then I will change the trees to 303 and the billboards they are at 3.02 that's the current state so it will complain about the plants because it thinks it should be 3 dot zero three it will complain as far as that the mod um, needs an update but it doesn't we have the latest plants now all right the uv logs are currently at version one zero so we have it correct let's see what's next next we have to disable the best patch mod do not delete it you will still use it for the other profile. Yes, we are now not deleting the bashed patch mods anymore because we need a separate bashed patch for each profile. So 
separate bash patch for 3 overhaul uh, with Dindulot, without Dindulot and for the second 3 overhaul also two different bash patches. So this time I will deactivate this one and the bash patch is gone. Now I will enable all plugins. Now I will disable the BGIN plugins that I don't want to have active. And I will sort the Lord order. And I will run Vrybash, create bash patch and rebuild it. Activate the bust patch, right click, rebuild patch. Ok. The bust patch was rebuilt. Can close Vry bash. And now in my override folder I have the bust patch stuff. So right click um, better first. Um, just copy the name of my previous bust patch, previous bust patch, yes. Now right click on override, create mod and change the name to 3 overhaul 2, no dindulot. And activate this bust patch, now it's here. And now the game is uh, actually ready to be played. The 3 overhaul option 2 is now installed. You can test the game and play it. So let's uh, test and see if it works. I will now pick a save that was made before I used the Dindulot because you cannot just continue from a save with Dindulot if you are disabling it. So now I don't have Dindulot uh, um, in my game uh, in Mod Organizer 2 and that's why I need a save uh, from before I used Dindulot. The other way around is fine. If you didn't have Dindulot and want to start playing with it, you just need to make sure that you start in a building somewhere. Okay, now let's throw out some stuff so that I am not over encumbered. And as you can see already in the far distance, we have now trees 3D active. Let's go to some trees to look at them. So here they are. Trees 3D by Mati79. This is our second tree overhaul. Yeah, so it works fine. Let's see some Aspens, maybe. 3D trees installed and working correctly. There they are. 3D trees. And also the 3D plants are installed, of course. What a beautiful game. Obsidian weathers. Re engaged ENB. 3D trees and plants installed. And all the other mods from the Tuco Guide.
So thank you for watching guys. In the next video we will do another profile and install a Dindulot for this second three overhaul option. And then we will have four profiles to choose from. Enjoy your modding and your playing and see you in the next videos. Peace.